Hello Collective, what's, uh, what's going on? I hope you're doing very well. My name is Diane and this is um, Madam Butterfly Tarot. And this is going to be a general message for January. But you know, timeless reading, blah blah blah. <laughs> um, you're very very welcome here, Collective. Thank you so much for um, checking out the video. I appreciate it very much. And um, if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, you know, I would appreciate that very much as well. And I am taking personal readings at the moment as well. So if you would like to book with me, um, the link will be in the description box below. And I am taking uh, spiritual life coaching sessions as well. So all the information about that is below. So what is going on for the collective? Igniting courage. I am strong, valiant and courageous. So there could be something that you're doing at the moment that's kind of involving you stepping outside your comfort zone a little bit because this always reminds me of the Knight of Wands which talks about courage and bravery and being bold. You have, yeah, revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. So you see, you've been this pearl, right? But you haven't been showing yourself to the world. And now it's like time for the little clam to open and for you to show the world like, here I am, <laughs> this is what I can do. And everyone's gonna be like, wow, look at that big, beautiful pearl, that's amazing. Um, I also feel like it's something to do with your light, okay? Because it says my light illuminates the world. So there's something that you're gonna do that's going to bring a lot of light to the world, okay? Um, and you're manifesting your dreams as well, okay? So there's something here, um, like about a dream that you've been manifesting, like you've been planting the seeds. If I can get it to focus. You've been planting your seeds and like now is the time for the harvest. I feel like this is happening now, okay? This is something it's like you're being called to kind of um, take that extra step out of your comfort zone and really show people like this light that you have, whatever this is that you're doing. Because it's almost like you've been preparing, you know what I mean? It's like this little pearl, this big pearl, it's like it's been growing and growing and growing, but it's been hiding itself away. So it's like all this progress that you've made like people haven't been able to see it, like you haven't been telling people and Spirit is saying like now is the time, like it's time now, okay, this is something that you're going to be doing now. Um, sorry, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is something because you may, this may be something that you thought nothing was going to come of, okay, as well. Yeah, you have luck is on your side. There's something that you're doing and it's almost like spirits in your corner giving you like a little boost of luck. Like it's the right, whatever this is, it's like the right time for you to be doing it. It's like, but it's all been planned out that way. Yeah, look, step out of your comfort zone. It's almost like you're being rewarded for stepping outside of your comfort zone. So this could be something you know, it's like showing yourself when you really didn't want to do it or showing a side of yourself that you didn't want people to see. Um, or like showing people what, you know, high vibra like how high vibrational you really are by like some spiritual knowledge that you have or something like this, okay? And you have, you're very close to achieving your goal. What do you need to release? Work through your fears. So it's almost, it's like you're at the finishing line collective, but there's just, this is like the last hurdle. It's like the last round, okay? And it's like the last little bit of something that you've been releasing, like some kind of fear. I feel like this is happening very soon. Cause it's like, you've been working on releasing these fears 
and you've been kind of getting outside your comfort zone and it's like culminating in people are going to be looking at you. There's something that you're going to do that people are going to be looking at you, see? It's like the way I was seeing it, you see like the trees looking at the moon, it's almost like they're looking up at the moon. And the moon is like very similar to the pearl, so it's like you're this moon, you're this pearl. And it's like suddenly people are going to be looking at you for something. Are you going to be getting a lot of attention for something that you're going to do? Hmm. I'm going to go with the witchy tarot. Yeah, you've been, um, okay. <laughs> So you have the Nine of Wands here and you have the Four of Pentacles. So because a lot of people have kind of come for you in the past and you're a bit of a wounded warrior, there's like with this Four of Pentacles, it's like you've been kind of sitting on this knowledge that you have or like you've been holding yourself back, you've been guarding your heart, um, like not letting people see the real you. But there's something that you're very, very good at. Like I'm not even having to shuffle. You have the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. So the Eight of Pentacles talks about a particular skill. Okay, I see. There's something that you're very good at or you're gonna figure out that you're very good at this, okay? But it's almost like you've been hiding it <laughs> from the world, okay? Because you didn't really wanna be seen or you didn't wanna be in the spotlight because people have come for you in the past. So you have this association of like putting yourself out there with people coming for you and that's what you've been releasing. Um, I want to say this is something to do with your work, okay? Something that you're very good at is about to be put in the spotlight. People are going to see it, okay? And don't worry about being in the spotlight because with the Six of Wands, this actually talks about someone that people love. Like whatever this is that you're doing, people are going to really love you for it. Because the Six of Wands is someone like very dynamic, someone that's earned it. You know what I mean? It's like someone that's done the work, so people are like happy for them to have it. Do you know what I mean? I also feel um, if you've been having a money block with the Four of Pentacles, this is the reason. It's because they want you to put yourself out there more, like. Um, to kind of really let yourself be seen, let your abilities be seen. Yeah, camera just went to 444. Let your light be seen, okay? So whatever this is you're doing, you're very, very close to achieving this, like, I want to say like fame and recognition, okay? Okay, you have the five of wands here, okay. Um, Things might be have, might have been feeling very chaotic as well. That's about to pass too, okay? Clarify these cards for me. Okay. <laughs> so you have the Five of Wands with the Three of Swords. It's not really what I asked for, but whatever. <laughs> um, so... Could have been like a little bit of sadness from the past keeping you back here. There's someone new coming in as well. I want to say there's a new love coming in. Um, okay, so we're talking about something else now. Um, but for those of you looking for love, there could be a water sign or a Libra coming towards you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Um, but this is the true person that you're meant to be with because I feel like someone broke your heart in the past. That was not your person. This, this new person is your person. And you're going to have a very, you're going to have to take a bit of a leap of faith towards this person with the fool, okay? Okay, let's just get some cards. <laughs> um, what else would you like the collective to know? <coughs> What else would you like the collective to know? Hmm. 
Yeah, see, I'm not in the right deck. Um, they always find some little ways to tell me. <laughs> You've definitely had your heart broken, okay? Or there's been some kind of sadness. Um, but there's like a new uh, spirit coming in after a very sad period or a grieving period or yeah there's like a new vitality there we go that was the word okay <laughs> that was the word okay can we have some okay you have the empress i really feel it's almost like you're going from the four of pentacles to the empress like there's a lot of luck on your side in terms of money. So if, if money has been really tight for you, that's about to change because male or female, you're like coming into this empress energy. Things are actually gonna flow to you very easily, okay? Uh, the empress is like lavish abundance, really seeing your own worth, like being open to receive. Swords really wants to come out. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm just throwing this out there and it's going to be very triggering for some people. Okay. But this is what they're giving me. When, when you have the Empress with the Three of Swords, there could be some kind of mother wound that's being healed. Okay. It doesn't have to be a mother. It could also be a very dominant grandmother, sister, anything like that. Wife. Okay. But I feel like there was some kind of heartbreak or sadness uh, surrounding a mother um, that maybe made you like a little defensive in the past. Um, that you're finally moving on from. This sounds harsh, okay? But some of you may even have cut contact with your mother or this female figure, okay? But it took you a while um because i feel there was some kind of block around being seen and it was to do with this mother figure from the past okay sorry that's the message um okay what else for the collective okay the queen of pentacles Something's coming in that's going to make you very, very happy, okay? And I feel like this is to do with work, okay? <laughs> wow, the four of wands. That's so funny, the exact same two cards came out for Pisces. Two more. What else for the collective? The Knight of Wands. You have definitely, whatever this is that you're doing to do with your work, you're really having to get outside your comfort zone to do it. Um, like you're really having to be bold. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear all the traffic. Uh, I had to open my window. And the house is like right on the main road, so it's noisy. <laughs> um, there's, yeah. What is this Four of Wands? There's like um, something from your background that's like unstable, okay? Like you came from like a chaotic upbringing or there was like a lot of ups and downs or there was a lot of chaos 
some of you may have moved around a lot because it's the four of wands you may have like issues with like a happy home or a commitment or a stability something like that okay that's what you've been releasing that's what's come up okay there's something to do with like a cycle of chaos from your background ending okay um it's interesting that I'm just <laughs> bitching about my house here um some of your you, there, there may be an issue with your house okay that you're you're starting to see um like maybe you've always ended up in like shitty houses or something like that it's like you always I'm actually wondering if this is a message for me. <laughs> you have the Five of Pentacles and the Sun. Um, so there may have been, like some of you had this kind of in your psyche or something, like you always end up living in shitty houses or something like that, that you're releasing. Okay. Um, yeah, but there's a goal coming in that's going to make you very happy. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. There was like, oh God, this reading's gone quite deep. Okay, so with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords, there's something to do with a female figure from the past, okay? Um, that was like quite bitchy or withholding of love or controlling. And they've made you feel like you have to do everything by yourself. And they've also made you feel um, that you're, you're not really allowed to take center stage. Okay? And that's what you're releasing. It's like you always feel like you should be second in command or you should be like, you know, not in the spotlight. And it was like to sort of take, because this other, this woman, whoever they were, took precedence like they took the spotlight and you weren't allowed to have it it's almost like you were supposed to be in the background just kind of working away and that's like the role that you're kind of busting out of so this is like new and different for you to be this kind of you know male or female like to be this empress energy like the one in the spotlight the one getting the accolades the one being appreciated um because i feel like you're breaking through some kind of poverty consciousness okay or like the ability to have a nice home or the ability to be in a happy home okay so that's something that you really had to work through interesting <laughs> okay look at that just as i'm saying that you have change so some of you that message that i said about the house um you guys are definitely going to be moving house okay i hope that's a message <laughs> um, you might actually end up moving quite far because I just saw a distant horizon so you might move across water that could be like moving over a river moving over an ocean something like this but some of you are definitely going to be moving house okay um, and there's a lot of there's like happy changes coming in okay like even if that house thing has nothing to do with you um, yeah, this thing that you're going to achieve, like when you're in the spotlight and people are looking at you, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of stability and a lot of change. Okay. Great fortune. So I feel like this is the money coming in. Okay. You've done a lot of work though is the thing. You deserve this. Okay. You, there's also like removing this feeling like you don't deserve it. That's what's ending. That's what you've been releasing. Okay? It's like this feeling that you don't deserve it. Uh, for some of you as well, like, if, you know, this might not be about work. This could be literally about you getting into a commitment with someone. But um, maybe you felt like you haven't deserved it or something like that in the past, okay? Tell me about this goal. Despair. I feel like this is something you've almost given up on, okay? Um, yeah, that's amazing.
amazing. This is almost literally for, like from rags to riches because you have despair and then you have sudden wealth. You see the difference? Look at that shit. That's incredible. It's like going from having nothing to, you know, having everything like sudden wealth. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's see, I'm just gonna randomly pull some butterfly cards and see what's going on here. So I think you've been, you've healing from the past. So I do think it's something to do with like, a, like I said, a mother figure or like a female figure or something that, you know, it could be like an ex-wife, ex-girlfriend as well. Could even be a best friend. <laughs> friend. Uh, like a best friend, like a best female friend that kind of was like very bitchy or nasty or controlling that always wanted to keep you from shining, okay? I think that's what you're healing from. Is there anything you want the collective to know from this deck? Welcome the new. Ooh. Yeah, so this is about remove, like, like not letting the past hold you back, heal healing from the past and stepping into this new version of yourself. For some of you, this is self-employment, okay? You have the Queen of Pentacles here with the self-employment card. So this is like very successful self-employment, working from home. And with the Queen of Swords, you could be teaching. Um, it could be like, you can look up occupations to do with the Queen of Swords, but she's generally like a speaker or um, she's like a channel of information in some way. She's like a teacher, writer, counselor, writing a book, YouTube channel, tarot reader. Um, you can look her up. Something to do with knowledge that you have. Um, is there anything else? Let's get two more for the collective. Finances. Your finances are about to improve drastically. It's literally going from like despair and having like fuck all <laughs> to like having tons of money, okay? And having like the freedom to move, I think for some of you. Um, get some rest. So you're going to be able to get some rest soon, okay? That's what they want you to know. So if you've been really struggling and you're like, oh my God, look, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are going to have very successful self-employment. Like there's a lot of money coming in for you, okay? Um, you've learned a hell of a lot of lessons. You've been through a hell of a lot of stuff, but now it's like time to reap the benefits, okay? So the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress, like a lot of money coming in, all right? Um, and soon you're gonna be able to get some rest. So just keep going, okay? Dig deep. <laughs> so that's the message collective. I hope it was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care.